we have these teabag parties across the country where we have people with lunatic ideas and lunatic signs. The first sign that I want to go to, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, we've collected the top ten worst signs at these parties. And let's start them up and, uh, so you can see them for yourself here. All right, Obama's plan, white slavery. Okay, yeah. Instead of criticizing, hey, our guy near Summers on the right track on deregulation, we go with the idea of white slavery instead. Yeah, that's genius. All right, go to sign number two. The American taxpayer are the Jews for Obama's ovens. Jesus Christ. I mean, does it get any worse? These people are lunatics. All right, sign number three. Uh, all right, this one's long. Our tax given to Hamas to kill Christian Jews and Americans. I'm not sure when we gave money to Hamas. Um, and Obama's only been in office for like a couple of months. I don't, yeah, I don't know how he negotiated all this. Uh, eight, and comfort to terrorists on acts of terror. Uh, oh, is an act of treason. The U.S. Constitution. Uh, no, it's hard for me to read without a guess. But the bottom line is it says... Uh, shall suffer death, the person who does treason. So if you thought the last two was bad enough, at the end of this sign, the person who's being accused of treason, Barack Obama, shall, I guess, suffer death. I mean, uh, he, but it keeps going. Sign number four. Obama, what you talking about, Willis? Spend my money? Ha <laughs> ha. That one's stupid, but who cares? All right, number five. No taxes, Obama. Uh, no taxes. Obama loves taxes. Bankrupt USA. Uh, loves baby killing. You see the violent imagery throughout all of these? All right, let's go to number six. And there is Barack Hussein Obama, the new face of Hitler, and Obama is drowning in with a Hitler and a Hitler mustache and in a Nazi outfit. Of course, continue. And here's a particularly clever one. It's Obama behind Uncle Sam, slitting Uncle Slam's, Sam's throat. Can you see that shiny knife in his hand? And Obama has that demonic look on his face. Again, violent imagery. Obama's out to kill you. He kills babies, uh, etc. What is the consequence of that? Uh, the people who are treasonous should be put to death, etc., etc. And then it goes on and on. All right, next one. Uh, guns tomorrow. What's the message being delivered here? Next one. God is judging America. Barack Obama supports abortion, sodomy, socialism, and the new world order. So did Bill Clinton and George Bush. Hey, look, a little bipartisan. <laughs> God is judging America. Who will he judge next? Let's keep it going. Uh, Obama was not bowing to the Saudi king. He was sucking Saudi jewels. Of course, when Bush was making out with the Saudi king in Crawford, these guys didn't have any similar signs. And, uh, and this one's just on the disgusting side, but at least doesn't have violence. All right, there you have it, the lunatics of America. Now, uh, you have Republican officials like Rick Perry and Republican commentators, conservative commentators like Glenn Beck and the entire Fox News channel, all behind these guys. Now, I know that those are the most extreme signs and that not everybody held those signs. But are these the guys you want to be go rah, rah and encourage? and go to their rallies and be like, yes, right, death, violence, guns, this is awesome, let's keep it going. Obama's wrong about everything. And furthermore, think about this. Remember when Bush was in office and the Democrats, it, that was a funny Freudian slip, the Democrats. The Democrats said, oh, we have to keep our powder dry. For eight years, they kept the powder dry. Like, will you filibuster something? I don't know, maybe later. Oh, congressional investigations, I don't, golly gee willikers, I don't know if we can. But don't worry, the Republicans will show you the same courtesy when you have a Democratic president, right? <laughs> Three months into his administration, they have unleashed everything in their arsenal. There is not a, there is not a single ounce of powder dry in the Republican and conservative circles. They've got nuclear on him in three months. Meanwhile, for eight years, as Bush ran roughshod over the laws, the Constitution, etc., the Democrats were like, well, maybe later, maybe we we'll just, you know, maybe, maybe we get a BB gun, and, you know, proverbially speaking, boop, right? And these guys, they're like, oh, Obama's Hitler! And he's killing everybody! And he's pouring gasoline over everybody! 
We have to get him. Oh, it's so damn dangerous. And if this is the first three months, what the hell are they going to do for four years? Think about that scary thought.